iLink is the software that allows us to configure addressable control panels. In this video we show how to install it and the first steps to use it. To start the installation, right click on the installation file and run it as administrator. We accept the conditions by checking the box I agree and then we click the next button. Finally, we accept to finish the installation. Now we execute the shortcut created on the desktop with administrator permissions. By default, we log in with the user master in lowercase and the password 9000. Now we have access to the iLink main screen. If needed, we can change the language at the bottom right. In the edit section, we can change the number of control panels we will work with and the type of connection, whether it is via USB or using an RS-485 converter. We can select the option of multiple cameras if we have more than one in the installation. We can also activate the acoustic warnings. And in case the drivers have not been installed correctly, we can install them from here. We select the option Repair in this case. If we dispose of a counter code to activate iLink Online, we can place it here and select Validate. In the configuration selection, we can import a file created with the Cofem Installers application. If we have several files and we want to add them in the same configuration file, we can use the option Import as Current. We also have the option to import a file from EasyLion or EasyConnect. In case we don't have a previous import file, we can create a new one. In the Browse button, we will give it a name to save it. We also have the option to open an existing configuration file. If we want to modify it without creating a new one, we have the option Override. The loop calculator has been incorporated into the iLink program and can be opened directly from this image. To find out if a designed loop is overloaded, we start by selecting the model of the control panel. The length of the cable from the control panel to the farthest point the cable section and finally the number of elements of each type to be connected to the loop. At the bottom it will indicate the percentage of loop load and if we are within the maximum limit of relays per loop. Thank you for joining us in this video.